Hi Verbling, my name is Michaela. I'm from Phoenix, Arizona. And for my last class today, we are going to be continuing our conversation about the pronunciation poem. I will copy and paste a link for that in the chat box for you guys. And I will also give you my Facebook name, Michaela Afidani. You can friend me on Facebook and send me a message saying hello or ask me any questions regarding English or request a class. If you're interested in learning a specific topic, I'm happy to make specific classes for you guys. David, welcome back. Thanks. So, you're interested in this pronunciation poem? Yes. <laughs> what time is it for you, David? Mm, 10 p.m. Oh, yeah, same for me. I thought we were in slightly different time zones. So you're a late night studier? Yeah. Are you in America? I'm in Brazil. Ah, Brazil. but I'm not in America. I'm in Brazil. You are in Brazil. I am. I'm in Brazil. Right now yeah. I'm living in Minas. Why you... <laughs> you are living in Minas? Uh-huh. Uh, I am teaching at a school here. Okay, what's the name of this school? Can it's a very small tell? school called Maple Leaf, but it's very small. Maple Leaf. Mm -hmm. Okay. But you were born in America? Yes. I'm a U.S. citizen born in the U.S., and I'm here just for to do a little traveling and to have fun, to teach English. Do you speak Portuguese too? I speak some Portuguese. I am not perfect in Portuguese, but okay. I do my best. I do my best. Do you live alone? Or no, I live with a family. Your father, mother? Not my father and mother. And everybody, and nobody speak Portuguese. In my family, or in the family that I live with. In in your family, who live with you in Brazil. Yeah, they all speak Portuguese. They're not my blood family. They're a family I'm staying with. Okay. But they all speak Portuguese. Because live in Brazil without. Speak Portuguese is very hard. <laughs> it is very hard. I speak enough Portuguese to be able to communicate. Of course, I could always improve. My Portuguese is not perfect. But I speak enough to be able to get around and accomplish my tasks and stuff. And I learn every day. I learn something new. Okay. Of course. So, oops. I have a question too. Yeah, it's what's about up? the health system in America. Interesting. Mm, I, 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 I was watching TV and always they talk about the boomer care and, and how the health system in America, in America works when uh, people that can't pay for the hospital and unfortunately they suffer a heart attack, a heart attack and need to stay in hospital for weeks and they can't pay for it. Well what right happened? now we're going through a transition. So before, up until now, if a situation occurred, um, it, healthcare is private or has been private in the past. So you have to buy healthcare, and if, say, you don't have healthcare, you did not buy healthcare or insurance, and 
you have a heart attack, like an emergency, what usually happens is you go to the hospital and they treat you and then you have to pay a very large sum of money for that treatment. So if you, if you do have health insurance, you pay probably two or three hundred dollars per month for that health insurance. But if you break your leg, if you break your arm, you'll only have to pay maybe a thousand, two thousand dollars for your medical care. If you do not have health insurance, it means that you don't pay anything per month because you don't have medical care. But if you break your leg or you have a heart attack, you'll end up paying hundreds of thousands of dollars in medical bills. So before, that's how it worked. If you have a heart attack, they treat you, but you'll probably never get out of debt. You'll owe hundreds of thousands of dollars. But now, in the changing. homeless people, what happened for them? To same them? thing, same thing. I mean, well, it's a little different to because... And they can't pay thousands of dollars. Of course not. They would just have debt. I mean, they what would be bankrupt. They would be broke. But it's a little different because usually a homeless person is not mentally very capable or sometimes they have other difficulties and issues. So it's possible that they might not even seek help or go to a hospital. But if they did, they would be treated. So they would get help for their medical emergency, but then they would have debt. Do you know what debt is? A bill to pay. Yeah, a bill to pay. They would have debt, but probably they would never pay it. In which case, there's really nothing that the hospital can do. I mean, they're still, they still have to treat the person. Okay. But so, up until now, that's how it's worked. But going forward, Obamacare that you have been hearing about is changing things a little bit because it's government health care, meaning that it's the same as before except that you can buy some minimum coverage insurance from the government instead of it being regulated by private companies. It's now being regulated by the government as well. Okay. Does that answer your question? Is it confusing? It's confusing, yet. <laughs> <laughs> How does it work in Brazil? In Brazil? In yeah. Brazil, the health is free. Is so you pay wallet? taxes for it? I mean, no. you must... Well, the government gets its money from taxes, so you must pay it somehow. In Brazil, it's free, but it's... Very, but you pay taxes very, every year, right? Um, right. Okay. So they take the money that they collect from taxes and they pay for hospitals to run? Yes. That sounds like a good plan. Do you enjoy the health care in Brazil? Does it work well? Yes, I, I had uh, health care too in Brazil. But in Brazil, there is a free hospital for those people that can't pay for it. So, for example, if you stay sick, you can go to the hospital and you don't need to pay nothing for it. Okay, and so if it's a I am in that America, works well. If I am in America, if I go to the hospital, I need to pay. There is no free hospital for anybody. Exactly. exactly. Yep. Okay. It's a very different system. And I think it's a very complex system because, well, one way or another, there are issues 
But I, I definitely think that the U.S. healthcare system is a little backwards, and we have a lot of work to do before it works better for the people. Oh, it's good. It's very good, I think, Obamacare. Oh, yeah. I, I think it's going in a good direction. I think it's a, a positive. It's difficult to make the transition, but I think it's going to be good for the future. Yeah. And it's also very helpful because right now, since there are not as many jobs as before, usually people get health care through their job. So if you work for a company, your company pays for your health care. But now that there's not as much work and not as many jobs, um, more and more people are without health care. So Obamacare is really going to be good. Yeah. All right. So let's get into this poem. We have a couple more paragraphs to get through this class, at least. Do you still have it open? Yes. All right, I'm going to screen share as well for anybody out there who is interested in watching this class. Okay, so paragraph number three. I'm going to say it and then have you repeat it. Okay. Okay. Hear me say, devoid of trickery, Daughter, laughter, and terpsichore. Typhoid, measles, topsails, aisles, exiles, similes, and reviles. Scholars, vicar, and cigar. Solar, mica, war, and far. One, Anemone, Balmoral, Kitchen, Lichen, Laundry, Laurel, Gertrude, German, Wind, and Mind, Scene, Malpanemine, and ma Mankind. Okay. Your turn. Hear me say, devoid of trick trickery, daughter, laughter, and terpsichore, typhoid, measly, topsails, aisles, exiles, smiles, reviles, scholar, vicar, and cigar. Solar, Mika, War, and Far. One, and Moon, Belmore. Kitchen, Lichen, Laundry, Laurel. Gertrude, German, Wine, and Mine. Scene, Melpon, 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 Mankind. Awesome. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about it. In the first couple lines, we have, hear me say, devoid of trickery, daughter, laughter, and terpsichore. So, let's talk about daughter and laughter first. What's similar about those two words? Daughter, laughter. Is the end of the word... Uh-huh. So they have the spelling in common, A-U-G-H-T-E-R. What's different about those two words? They don't pronounce the same. Daughter, uh -huh. laughter, laughter. Uh -huh. So what's the difference between the way your mouth says daughter and laughter? Uh, the mouth opens the same, I think, da, 
la no in da the mouth opens more da mm -hmm. so I'll give a quick demonstration we have daughter daughter and um, laughter laughter so da la da left da la so can you see the difference between those two vowels now yes all right And then the last word, of course, is totally a crazy word. It's <laughs> pronounced terpsichore. And if you're curious, it's a Roman god of something or other. It's from a very long time ago, and English has distorted the pronunciation to be terpsichore, even though it does not look like it's pronounced like that at all. And as I've mentioned before, this is not a particularly important term for you to know, but it's, it's fun. Yeah, it's a name. And it's fun because it rhymes with trickery, terpsichore, even though and what the pronunciation trickery means? Oh, that's actually a good question. Trickery is not a bad word to know. So do you know the word trick? No. <laughs> What about on Halloween when kids say trick or treat? Have yeah. you heard that? Trick or treat. It's a bad thing. Uh-huh. It's a bad thing. It's like a mean joke, maybe, or something surprising, like um, magicians sometimes play a trick. They might, I don't know, do some kind of magic trick, something surprising. And then mm -hmm. frequently a trick is something that's not very good. But it's okay. always something surprising. In fact, let me look it up. Let me give you a better definition since I've got dictionary.com open. I love dictionary.com. The Brazilian politicians make a lot of trickery. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So we have a couple other definitions here. A crafty or underhanded device or maneuver, an optical illusion, a mean, foolish, or childish action. These are all some definitions for trick. So, trickery is the act of trick. All right. Moving on to the next two lines typhoid. Measles, topsail, aisles. So let's look at these words. Let's, oh, actually, I'll read the next line too. Exiles, similes, and reviles. So we've got seven words here. Let's start to compare some of them. Do you see any similarities in these seven words? Exiles, miles, reviles are this are similar. Uh huh. Exactly. Aisles, two. Top sales or top sales. It's top sales and top sales. aisles. So we have some rhyming going on here in similar sounds with aisles, exiles, and reviles. Right? Means and miles. those are actually that's similes. Okay. Smiles similes. would be without the second eye. Yeah, similes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't I didn't see the eye. Yeah, those words are tricky. You think you know what it is, and then all of a sudden you realize that it's something different. It happens to me too. <laughs> similes, okay. So, we have typhoid, measles, top sales, aisles, exiles, similes, and reviles. And you mentioned that we have the same I sound in aisle, exile, and revile. What else do you notice about these words? Typhoid is completely different. Mm -hmm. Measles. 
maybe maybe L I and S pronounce the same. Measles, exiles, os, measles, mm -hmm. os. Measles and exiles. Yeah, they have a similar Iles. ending here. Exiles, smiles. Smile. Yeah. Similes. Similes. Mm -hmm. Similes. Yes. Yeah, even you want to say smiles because we have aisle, exile, revile. It <laughs> makes you want to say smile. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a trick word. Yeah, it is a trick. So look at the last two words in the first line top sales and aisles. We have another similarity here. In the AI, we've got AI and top sales and AI and aisle. And what's the difference in pronunciation there? Top sale, aisle. Well, there is top, top sales, aisles. Yeah, so between those vowel sounds, the vowels are the same. A-I and A-I, top sale and aisle. What's the difference between sale and aisle? They, they don't pronounce the same. Sale, aisle. Exactly. Difference in pronunciation there. A and I pronounce different. Mm -hmm. A, top sales, A, aisles. Mm -hmm. Which is the more a, open? The letter A don't pronounce an aisle. Yeah, aisle is more open. And we don't pronounce the A very much there. More about the I. Awesome. Let's move on to the next few words. Scholar, vicar, and cigar, solar, mica, war, and far. So, scholar, vicar, and cigar. Let's compare those. First three, scholar, vicar, and cigar. They... They end the same. Mm -hmm. They all end in A-R. And how is the pronunciation between scholar, vicar, and cigar? Scholar, vicar, and cigar. Mm -hmm. Just the A-R are the same. True. So. The AR is the same, but what's different about these three words? The difference between them? Mm -hmm. So it has to do with stress. Listen again. We have scholar, vicar, and cigar. Scholar, vicar, okay. and cigar. Scholar, vicar, cigar. Just in cigar, the. I don't know how to say the syllable. It's the, yeah. the syllable that pronounce more strong. Uh huh. I don't know the name. Well, you can say the syllable with more emphasis or more force. Yeah, and. In cigar is A R G A R cigar 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 or no exactly so in cigar we have the emphasis cigar. on the second syllable and in scholar and vicar it's on the first yes mm -hmm. now what about solar how does that compare to the rest solar solar is like scholar yeah, it's like scholar in the, in the syllable stress, right? Yes. 
However, it's a little different than scholar because scholar also has an O in it. So we have scholar and solar. What's the difference yes. between the O pronunciation? Yes, the O sounds different. Solar. Uh, o sounds like W. W. Mm -hmm. Solar. Mm -hmm. Solar. Yeah. Um, More like a round O mouth shape. I don't know the name uh, of the sounds. I know that names like schwa. Mm-hmm. Flat T. Well, <laughs> yeah. I don't, I don't know the name. It's easy to describe from the mouth shape. So you can say scholar has an open sound. Your mouth is much more open. And solar, your mouth is closed and a little circle. Solar. Your, your lips make a little circle. Okay. All right. Then we have mica, war, and far. What's strange about these words? The letter A, they are in common. And war and far is the letter A and R. War and uh -huh. far. So, what's the difference between war and far? War, you need pronounce the W with uh, with your mouth mouth shape like. Uh, um oh war mm -hmm. and far far your mouth is or, or, horizontal I don't know yeah your mouth is more horizontal with far you've got a wider sound and war your mouth is definitely more closed good job all right, next couple lines. One, anemone, almoral, kitchen, lichen, laundry, and laurel. So let's make some comparisons here. In the first line, let's start with the first two words, one and anemone. They are just ni in common. Nemony one. One. No. One. Yeah, so they Nemony. both have O N E. Both of them. Nemony. They pronounce the say the different. Yeah. Nemony. Mm hmm So what's the difference between the pronunciation of O N E and one and anemone? The letter O and the word one is pronounced like wa, wa, uh -huh. um, and in anemone is pronounced like a uh, nemon, nemon, nemon. Uh -huh. And what about the E? In one, you don't pronounce the E. In anemone, you pronounce like E. Uh huh. Exactly. Anemone. One anemone. Definitely. Then we have the word balmoral, which is not a particularly common word, but will be it's interesting to compare. Yeah, I think let's find a good definition for it. So. We don't have to guess here. I think it's a kind of 
sweater or something. Yeah, it's a colored woolen petticoat. So it's a kind of clothing, formerly worn under a skirt and draped so that portions of it could be seen. So it's a, an item of clothing. All right. So, kitchen, lichen, laundry, laurel. Let's start with kitchen and lichen. Can you compare those two? Kitchen, lichen. The CH are different. In what way? The letter I is different. Kitchen. The T is not pronounced. Kitchen. Lichen. CH pronounced like K. Lichen. Uh -huh. Lichen. Kitchen. Exactly. I think you got the most of it right. So the CH is pronounced differently. The I is pronounced differently. What about laundry and laurel? Laundry, laurel. Laundry. L and A, I think, is the same. Laundry, laurel. Laundry, laurel. Laundry, laurel. Okay. Then the letter A is pronounced like O in laurel. Laundry, like A, laundry. Mm hmm. La, A, and laurel. Laundry, laurel. Laundry and laurel. And then we also have a quick comparison between Balmoral and Laurel, spelled differently but pronounced the same. All right. And the last two lines in this paragraph, Gertrude, German, wind, and mind. Let's pronounce, let's compare Gertrude and German. The letter G is different. Gertrude and German. Uh huh. So we have G E R in both, but one is a soft G, German. We call that a soft G. And the other is a hard G, Gertrude. Ger. Gertrude. Mm -hmm. All right, how about wind and mind? The letter I. It's mm -hmm. different. Wine, wind, wine. And what's the difference there? Just the letter I. No? Yeah, so the, the pronunciation is different. And how? what's the difference in wind, I, and I? mind. How would you describe it? I don't know. <laughs> Alright. Well, in wind, we have like a short I sound. And in mind, we have almost two vowels, actually. Mind. Mind. Wind, so we use multiple mind. sounds. Yeah, it's a long sound. Very long. And in the last line, scene, melpamine, and mankind. Scene, melpamine, and mankind. They are in common. They have in common the ending. 
E N E E N N E Melpomin, melpomin, melpomin. I think the letter E in melpomin in the end it's not pronounced. Uh -huh. Melpomin. Uh -huh. And sin, it's pronounced sin. Sin. Okay, mm. so they might have a, a small difference. I think these two are pretty similar, actually. Pretty similar. Although I'm sure there's a, there um, are different ways to pronounce melpamine. Some people might say it differently. But I think they're pretty similar. And of course, mankind rhymes with mind. Another example of an I representing more than one sound. Mind, kind. All right. On to the next paragraph. Do you have any questions on the last one we just read? What kitchen means? Huh? Kitchen lichen. Sorry. Ah, yeah, kitchen and lichen. lichen. Lichen is sort of like moss. It's this little green plant that grows on rocks and trees. Okay. Okay. Laundry is where you clean your clothes. Mm -hmm. And laurel is? I think laurel is a type of flower. Or a type of... It's a plant, anyways. Okay. Alright. Any other questions before we move on to the next paragraph? No. Okay. So, billet, no, billet does not rhyme with ballet, bouquet, wallet, mallet, chalet. Blood and flood are not like food, nor is mold like should or would. Viscous, viscount, load and broad, toward to forward, to reward. And your pronunciation's okay when you correct correctly say croquet. Rounded, wounded, grieve, sieve. Friend and fiend, alive and live. All right, now it's your turn to try this pronunciation once through before we talk a little more about the individual words. Me? Me? Yep, you. Okay. Violet does not rhyme with ballet. Bouquet, wallet, mallet, chalet. Blood and food are not like food. Nor is wood, nor is mood like shoot and wood. Viscous, viscount, load and broad. Toward, to forward, to reward, reward. And your pronunciations, okay. When you correctly say croquet, rounded, wounded, grieve and sieve, friend and fiend, fine. <laughs> Alive and live. Awesome. Thanks, David. So I totally apologize. I did not see we had new students in class. Yeah. How yes. long? How long has it been? I'm so sorry. Yes. Hi, Mikala. How are you? Hi, guys. Um, Ratched? Is that how I say yeah. your name? Yes, it's Rashid. Oh, Rashid. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Where are you from, Rashid? Uh, I am from Algeria. Very nice to meet you. And nice have you been following along with our poem so far? Sorry? 
Have you been following along with our poem? Have you been listening in oh, to our poem? Yes, yes, I follow. It's the first time, actually. Excellent. Well, yes. I'm very glad to have you and to meet you. Yes. And we are on paragraph four now, so we should be able to all start this one together. And I am excited. I think her connection it is disconnect. Guys, you hear me? Yes, I'm here. Yes, I think Mikala disconnected. Yeah. Wait, wait a bit. I think she come back. Yes, I know. Yes, she back. Yes, Rashid, I think the problem of connection, it is... Yes, yes, I oh, think the problem of oh, yours oh, too. Yes, right. all around the world. All around the world? Yes, because... <laughs> yeah, but, but, yes, maybe it's uh, a problem on verbling, no? Yeah, maybe that's our with Hangout. Hmm. Mm -hmm. <coughs> I think you might have muted, yeah, okay. I should be back. Okay, so I think it was a Google Hangout problem, but I am not positive about that. So, in any case, we will continue. And Thayer, is that how I say your name? Thayer? Yes, yes that's right. Thayer. Okay. And where are you from? I'm from Iraq, from south of Iraq. Very cool. I believe this is the first time I've had you in class, right? No, the second one, but I oh, think you forget me, Sorry. yes. Sorry. Okay, no problem. All right. So, glad to have you guys here with us. And you both have the poem open? No, I open it. Okay, I'm also going to screen share, so you're welcome to follow along with me here. Okay. All right. Um... Sire, would you like to try saying that paragraph, paragraph number four, all the way through? Okay, with with palette. Yep. Okay. I do you want to read it? Me? No. Do you want me to read it? Yes. Yes. Okay. Go ahead. Yeah, but I think it is very hard to read. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's tough. But, uh, okay. Ballet doesn't rhyme with ballet. Poke wallet, mallet, chale. Blood and the flood are not like food. Nor is mold like should and would. Viscous, viscant, loud and proud. Toward, to forward, to reward. And your pronunciation okay when you correctly say cro crocot. Rounded, wounded. Grieve and deceive, friend and fiend, alive and live. Thank you very much. Okay, you're welcome. And last but not least, Rashid, would you like to pronounce that poem for us before we talk about some of the words in that paragraph? Yes, please. Uh, okay, so ballet doesn't does not dream with ballet. Bucket, wallet, mullet, shutter. Blood and fluid are not like food. Nor is mold, mold, sorry, like should and would. Viscous, viscount, blood and broad. Toward, to forward, to reward. And your pronunciation is okay when you correctly say croquet. Rounded, 
wounded, grieved, and seed. Friend, fin, alive, and leave. Awesome. So now let's talk a little bit more about some of these lines. And we're going to start with the very first one, where we compare that first word to ballet. And I'm going to give us a quick definition for that, because it's an uncommon word. It's pronounced billet, and it's the lodging for a soldier or a student, like a private home. It's not a very common word, but it's important for pronunciation to compare it with the other words. So, billet does not rhyme with ballet. What's similar between billet and ballet? Sire. What's yeah. similar between these two words, billet and ballet? Do you ask about the meaning or about another side? About um, we're talking mainly in this class about pronunciation and spelling. Yes, so I So tell me about the similarities there. It is billet and ballet. I think all it and all it. Maybe this syllable, the syllable, sorry. Mm -hmm. So I their syllables are similar. We've got two syllables in each. Mm -hmm. And we have billet and ballet. So they're spelled similarly, B-I-L-L-E-T and A-L-L-E-T, spelled very similarly, but they're pronounced very differently. Okay. What's the difference in pronunciation? Does anyone see? Uh, the first, we pronounce the T, and the second, we don't pronounce the T. Exactly. So in ballet, the T is silent, and in billet, it is not. All right. Next line: bouquet, wallet, mallet, chalet. What's the comparison being made here? Also the T letter. Uh huh. So which words pronounce the T here? It is a silent. About for bouquet, but wallet and mallet and ch and chalet, it is also silent. Exactly. So they're showing us that depending on the word, it could be silent or it could be a real T sound. All right. Okay. The next line: blood and flood are not like food. What's the difference between blood, flood, and food? pronunciation of the double O. Yeah. yeah. So how do we how do we use our mouth to say flood and blood? Flood. Yeah, I think the double O and the flood and the blood like a uh, but and the f uh, food like O. Exactly. So food, we have our lips in a small round shape, like an O. Your lips are like an O, food. And blood and flood are a little more relaxed sounding. Your tongue is at the bottom of your mouth, and your mouth is open. Your lips are apart, blood, but not very much. Mm -hmm. OK. OK. Next couple lines. Nor is mold like should or would. So let's compare mold and should and would. What's the difference between those three words? Okay, we have in should and would, it is the L, it is silent. But in mold, no, it is not silent, I think. Exactly. Mold, we pronounce the L. In should and would, we do not. It's silent. And what about the vowel sound? Mold, should, would. So, from mold, it's O. 
and for should, like it's short, should and would. Mm-hmm. Definitely. Should and would are much shorter than mold. Yes. All right. Long, long O, yeah. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Our next line, viscous, viscount, load, and broad. Let's compare viscous and viscount first. I think that oh, it is silent in first word, but in this count, it is, it is not silent. Yeah, we have more vowel sounds. So in the first word, that OU makes one vowel sound, viscous. Uh, yeah. And in viscount, we have ow, ow. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. How about the next? Pair load and broad. So they're spelled similarly. Yes, we have ow loud, and the broad it is a different I think. Mhm. Mm so how do we pronounce broad? What is our mouth doing? It is more open. Proud. Yeah, yeah, more yeah. open. Mm -hmm. yeah. Broad, ah, uh, your mo mouth is open, kind of in a large oval shape, and load, so small in, o's shape. In mm -hmm. load, we pronounce more the o, and brow, we pronounce either the a. Like, mm -hmm. the a comes. Yeah. So we kind of shift our pronunciation. All right, our next line, toward, to forward, to reward. So we have toward, forward, and reward. What is the comparison between these three words? I think that W letter, it is a silent. And first word, toward. Not like forward. Mm -hmm. Definitely. <laughs> so, toward, we kind of have, we don't really pronounce all of the syllable there. It's really just one syllable, toward. Instead of forward, we have two. What about reward? How does that compare to forward? It is also, I think, two syllable reward. It is also two syllables. Is there any differences between forward and reward? Yes, I think in the reward it is O, it is long O. Mm -hmm. So in, in reward. Forward, yes. Mm -hmm. We have the emphasis on the second syllable. In reward, we put more stress on ward. And in forward, we put more stress on for. So our emphasis is on the first syllable in forward, not reward. Mm -hmm. Awesome. So we have about three minutes left. And although we have not totally finished this, I'd like you guys to take a try at the first four paragraphs for pronunciation. Now, you guys are, um, Rashid and Thayer, you're at a disadvantage here because David was in both classes. There were two classes on this. Okay. And so <laughs> you will be at a disadvantage, but I'm going to let David go first. Listen to his pronunciation carefully, and when it's your turn, try to copy him. David, will you go ahead and read the first four paragraphs? Okay. Dearest creature in creation, stud English pronunciation. I will teach you in my verse. Sounds like carps, carps, horse, and worse. I will keep you sus busy. Make your head with heat grow dizzy. 
Tear in eye your dress you tear, so shall I, oh, hear my prayer. Just compare hurt, beard and hurt, dice and diet, lord and word, sw sword and sword, retain and written. Mind the letter, the letter, how it's written. Now I surely will not plague you with such words as plague and argue, but be careful how you speak. Say break and stake, but bleak and streak, clove, cloven and oven, how and low, script, receipt, show, poem and tow. Hear me say, devoid of trickery, daughter, laugher, and terpsichore, typhoid, muscles, topsails, aisles, exiles, similes, and reviles, scholar, vicar, vicar and cigar, cigar, solar, mica, war, and far, one, anemone, balmor, kitchen, lichen, laundry, laurel, Gertrude, German, wind, wind and mine, Seen, Melbourne, mankind. Billet does not rhyme with ba ballet. Bucket, wallet, mallet, chalet. Blood and fluid are not like food, nor is mood like shoot and wood. Viscose, viscount, load and broad, toward, to forward, to reward. And your pronunciations, okay. When you correctly say croquet, rounded, wounded, grieve and sieve, friend and fan, alive and live. Thank you very much. And, sorry. Next up, Rashid. Do you think you could give it a try? Yes. Do your best here. Okay. <laughs> Dearest creature and creation, study English pronunciation. I will teach you in my verse. Sounds like corpse, co, horse, and worse. I will keep you susy and busy. Make your make your head with hate grow dizzy. Tear in eye, your dress will tear. So, so show. All hear my prayer. Just compare heart, heard, heard, and heard. Dies and yet, Lord and word, sword and sword, retain and retain. Mind the letter, how it's written. Now I surely will not plague you with such word as plague and ague. But be careful how you speak, say break and stick, but bleak and streak. Cloven, oven, how and low, script, receipt, show, poem, and tell. Hear, my, hear me say devoid of trickery, daughter, laughter, and... <laughs> Terps Terpsichore Typhoid Muscles Top cells Else Exiles Smiles And Reveals Scholar Vicar And Seeger Solar Mika War And Four One Animal Anemone uh, Anemone Anemone, anemone. Mm -hmm. Royal Moor Kitchen Beachen Laundry Laurel Gertrude German Wind and Mind Seen Mal Malpomene Mankind Billet Does not rhyme with ballet 
pocket, wallet, wallet, chalet. Blood and flood are not like food, nor is mud like shoot and wood. Viscous, viscal, broad and broad, to ward, to forward, to reward. And your pronunciation is okay when you when you correctly say croquet. Rounded, wounded, grieve and sieve. Friend and fiend, alive and life. Wonderful job. Well done. Thank you. And last one to go. Sire, will you read the four paragraphs for us? Okay, Michaela, but I have read the time is up. <laughs> it's okay. Oh, over. Yeah, you can go ahead. No worries. Just do your best here. Okay, I just want to run away. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, okay. this is really tough stuff. Okay. Dearest creature in creation, study English pronunciation. I will teach you in my verse. Sounds like corpse, corpse, horse, and walls. I will keep you Susie busy. Make your head with hate to grow dizzy. Tear in eye, your dress will tear. So shall I. Oh, oh, hear my prayer. Okay. Just compare heart. Bird and heart, die and diet, lord and ward, sword and sword, Re retain and Britain, mind the letter, how it is written. Now I surely will not like you with such words as black and ague. But be careful how you speak, say break and stick, but black and strike, cloven oven, how and low. Secret received, shoot poem and toy. Hear my say, sorry, hear me say, devoid of trickery, daughter, laughter, and ter, 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 ter score, core, typhoid, missiles, top cells, eyeless, axles, smiles, smiles, smiles. And rivals, scholar, vicar and seeker, solar, make a war and far one enemy, all moral, kitchen, lichen, laundry, laurel, dirted, German, wind and mind, seen, so, what's that? What? I don't know. <laughs> Go okay. ahead and finish. I think I'm. Okay. Uh, oh yeah, it sounds like there's a bit of an echo. Just go ahead. Yes. And finish. Okay. Okay. I lost. Okay. Kitchen, kitchen, laundry, Laura. Seen, mail pawn, my, my, my kind. Palette doesn't rhyme with palette. Pocket, wallet, mallet, chale. Blood and the flood are not like food. Nor is mold like should and wood and wood. Viscous, visquant, loud and broad, toward forward to to reward to, to reward and your pronunciation okay when you correctly say crooked, rounded, wended, grieve and sieve, friend and fiend, alive and live. <laughs> okay. It is very hard to Ah, sigh of relief. Wonderful job. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you, Michaela. I think you did, guys did excellently, and we are out of time for today, but I look forward to seeing you guys again in classes soon. Thanks okay. a lot for coming tonight. Okay, thank you, Michaela. Good night. Bye. Bye. Good night.